Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Tuesday morning, May 21st. Looking at Window Traders market profile of the ES and NQ. So, look, the bad news is the volume and range have been horrendous. We know that. <clears throat> Yesterday's volume, second worst of the year, under 40 million again in SPY. It's probably, we have two volumes this month, which are probably the least we've had in a day in two and a half years. And we've done two of them within a week. Uh, the good news is at some point you're going to come out of this and hopefully with some energy. Um, 13 wide point of control, perfect point of control yesterday for NQ. 21 wide this morning right above that. ES, only ended 8 wide. It's almost a tale of two days, right? We spent the morning and early afternoon trying to push up. We spent the rest of the afternoon trying to push down. Well, we spent the whole overnight so far 19 wide at that lower end. Okay, now we did have higher value yesterday. Um, we're still in balance. We missed the all-time high by three ticks. NQ made an all-time high, but unless we take out today's high, I'm still calling them, I'm sorry, yesterday's high, I'm calling them still balance. Righty, wide overnight, now they're starting to get away from it. We've seen that a lot recently also with these wide overnight point of controls, and then we get away from them prior to the uh, regular trading hours. Righty also in balance. So the market's still trying to find itself. There's nothing out today. Tomorrow you have Fed Minute to two. You have NVIDIA's earnings after the close. Um, so again, you might get yourself trading in a very tight range inside of this balance. Um, you hope for the best and expect the worst as far as range and volume go. That does not mean there aren't opportunities. Okay, there were opportunities yesterday. So instead of having the FOMO hovering over the keyboard, looking to just slam those keys, on days like today, look for something. Think two, three steps ahead as the market is forming throughout the day, what you will do if this happens or if that happens. And again, on these type of days, these are the days you try to scratch out a few and wait for the big move days. Okay, it'll take your temperature down a lot, let me tell you. Um, this overnight range is, look, we've gotten the overnights and the IBs, both of each, I think the last three days in a row. That's a function of no range or volume. The overnight high right now is poor. It's 35.50. The low, 29. We have a six and a half point overnight range. That's it. So the odds of taking both of it out, very good again. Even NQs is small. NQs tried to pull away to the upside and downside and get much. 63, 29. It's 34 points. It's less than a dollar. So very good odds you get both overnights. Very good odds you're going to need patience. Okay, can you front run the overnight highs or lows? I mean, you can, but with such small ranges, I'm not sure what you're even going to get out of that. So you might be better off just waiting for more market-generated information. And in our trading room, that's what you get throughout the entire day for a live webinar. Okay, and then on the chart, so again, it's a four-day balance for ES, I'm calling that also for NQ, even though they pushed high yesterday. So balance rules are certainly in effect once again this morning. Good luck trading today. Thank you for liking and subscribing to this channel. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.